The PD tip I'd like to bring you today may seem a little strange, but I hope you'll bear with me. My PD tip is that chess is good for business. Why chess? Why am I involved with chess? Basically, because of the voluntary project that I'm doing, we're running a conference on August the 12th, and we have Lienzo Garcia coming to talk about chess is the best mind gym for the brain. And he's talking about how chess helps children improve their academic ability, but also what it means for business, and I'll come back to that in a moment. Running alongside the conference is a showcase, and we have Raymond Keane coming along, he's a chess grandmaster, and he's taking on 20 Dorset chess players, simultaneously. <laughs> so quite a big thing. So I'm trying to market this, and um, Laura McCarrick very kindly uh, suggested that I get in touch with James Case. So asking people for help, using people's skills is vitally important. James Case runs the Good Food Chess Club here in Bournemouth. So I went along, and the proviso was I could go and market these things to his crew, provided I played chess. So you can imagine the fear. <laughs> and the, the preconception I had, I have to say, oh, are there any chess players in the audience? Do any of you play chess? Right, my apologies to you then. My preconception of chess players was that they're very boring and same. <laughs> <laughs> and it get, I don't know, any of you here um, who are pink badges, did you have a preconception of what it was going to be like today? Maybe a little bit fearful coming today? That was how I was when I went to this chess event. And I was totally wrong. And I hope the pink badges were totally wrong too. That it came along, it's warm, it's friendly, and it, it's worth coming to. So I got there and met some amazing people and I had to play chess and I learned a lot about myself playing chess and I'd just like to share a bit of that with you. The first thing I learned about chess is that you need to think strategically and I don't in business. I've got a great idea, this was a brilliant idea. Did I think about the consequences? No. Did I think about the repercussions on my time? No. It just seemed like a good idea. So chess taught me that you, it's not just about the first move, it's the move after that and the move after that and seeing the big picture. The other thing it taught me is about focus. You have to stay focused. And I'm a butterfly up. Come over there. How many of you do that in your businesses? Just stay focused and get the job done. It was also about discipline. Oh, let's have a chat. I had a really interesting guy on the phone that's Ian Thurgood, the business explorer. Let's chat about that. No, 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 we're here to play chess. And again, that discipline in the workplace. And when you run your own business, who's there to hold you accountable? So this is being self-disciplined from that. And it actually won the first game. <laughs> And my first thought was, I bet Ian let me win. How often do we celebrate our own successes? Or do we discount it? Or just pass it by and move on to the next problem? It pays to just give yourself a pat on the back and recognise what you do well and have faith in yourself to keep going. So that was just what I learned in one game of chess. Just imagine what you could learn playing it in one. I'm an amateur, I have just started. If you would really like to learn the real benefits of chess for you and the business, or just watch Olympian players playing chess, then come along on August the 12th. Thank you.